Okay, getting some of the wiring done here. This is uh, my disconnect panel is over there. Okay, and then it comes underneath, pops up over here, and the wires are going into there. Through here, um, I have it stubbed through, and I have a whip. There's a six foot whip that comes across and goes um, into the box itself, which worked out great. Um, now, one thing of note, you know, we obviously have white, black, red come into these terminals. I was confused as to whether the green went up to here where it's indicated green ground or whether it came to the ground block over here. It does go to the ground block. But one thing that I found probably, which is by design, is that there's some little holes that go through here by the ground. So I still kept my ground inside of the, the whip here and just bent it around through there screwed it into here important i know i've mentioned it a hundred times everything is grounded um, i've got you know um, my concrete pad is grounded to the rebar i have the grounding rod that i have hammered in right over there and the box over there is grounded and every component here has a bonding wire that's grounding it out so there you go wiring's all done Let's talk about our surround here. Now I've already got one side kind of started and done. Um, I started at the hard side, obviously. Um, what I'm doing is just this T11 siding or T111, whatever it's called. Um, and then I have I have screwed in these um, these guys here. That might be screwed in. I'm not sure. Um, nope. So on several places around here i'm going to have these access panels uh, so i can access the components on this side um what you i am sorry i'm going to also insulate the inside of this obviously so that when i push the panel back in there the insulation just falls into place but let's kind of talk through what i'm what i'm doing here um and again i don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it but this is how i'm doing it what I did is I actually ran just some twine. Kind of hard to see here. I ran some twine all the way from one side across to the other. And that's really just so that the insulation has something to sit on. I just used some twine and a, and a uh, staple gun. Now I've already done the insulation here in the front, but I ran some twine also on the back side of there. Let's see if you can see that there. Down here, I ran twine on the inside of the wall. So that way, when I went to go push my insulation on, it had, again, something to sit up against. Now your T111 is going to fit all the way here. Siding is going to come up to up all the way up here. And what I'm doing is I am doing three strips of one-inch insulation. So it's taking quite a while because that's a lot of insulation to be packing, as you can see you know three comes up all the way you know, obviously with your three and a half inch two by fours three inches is going to take up almost all that space on the top of this i'm just going with plywood uh, outdoor treated plywood and then i'm going to probably and i'm yet to be decided um, put concrete board on top of here and then waterproof it um, decking is going to go over the top of that so it's a lot of work to get done but figure do it right the first time so yeah i'm just going to continue on um putting this round on you'll notice i put these four by four posts in and they're 12 footer so they're going way up there i'm going to cut them down to size once i'm done with the surround but these are just um you saw me uh, put in the the concrete lag bolt there 
and then they're just bolted in up here and that's solid as a rock. I've got those on all four corners, as you can see, so that uh, we can do kind of a surround and uh, put some privacy curtains around this when we're done. So, but now is the time to do it before you put the rest of the surround on because they needed to be, it's already concrete there. You might as well set it on this instead of having to dig additional footers. So there you go. I'm just gonna keep on working on the uh, styrofoam or the foam insulation a little bit at a time here.